Welcome back to Shroud of the Sun through the New School Project. Would anyone else like to do a recap? I would like a recap. I would like a recap. I wouldn't like to do a recap. A recap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So previously on uh, Shroud of the Sun, we dealt through uh, some diplomacy for a uh, situation with some robberies on a trade caravan. Uh, they were able to convince the Merfolk to leave by finding the item that they had some cultural ties to. They've made their way back to town, received their uh, loot, and are now still in the bar, uh, waiting to wake up and recuperate. Yeah, I believe I went to the stable. In the past you did. Day. And I worked as the bookie for... For a, a round of gambling between you and Lil Guck. I won quite a bit of money off Lil Guck. I mean, I got, we got like, what, eight I only gold left him with like eight gold. I, I put it all inside of the, the well, donation. Well, all of it yours to start with. Actually, all of it. All pretty much all of it. Yeah. I didn't need to know that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sun rises, the rooster crows, the day greets you. What do you like to do? Uh, I guess I'm heading over to the inn to meet up with everybody. I'm going to sit down and order myself a drink. Lil Guck sitting next to me. I'm Roll gonna... fortitude. Oh, sorry, a constitution check. 19. 19. Uh, you wake up, your mouth is kind of gummy, and you smell absolutely fetid. You don't really feel any any kind of any kind of way about that though. <laughs> I, I grab my long flowing hair and like wring out what looks like sewage just coming off and then put it in a ponytail and dip out to the end. <laughs> oh I... brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up, reach into my alms box and pull out one coin and walk downstairs with all my goodies and go get some <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> all right, breakfast today is the pretty standard fare. Some eggs, some bacon, you got toast, you got some hash browns, whatever general item you'd like to have. How's it going there, sir? It's got, you, you see you've got wandering, but you, you smell him wandering before, <laughs> before that happens. Yeah, he, he, he already knows Gawk is in before he even sees his face. The, the barkeep pauses mid-sentence. <laughs> Gawk, go outside and hose yourself off. As I, as I turn around to go outside, my point to like smacks you in the face. I just get a little... Uh. <laughs> got this sludge I'm just talking at. I'm going to go outside and give myself a little uh, fountain and just start with the endless <laughs> water. The decanter of endless, yeah. endless water. He's a portable bath. It's honestly... This is the most beneficial thing for us from that water. Especially the <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't figure it would be the only more way part of your character, ever, but I love it. It's I the only it. way you could ever trick him into actually taking a bath. <laughs> so I guess uh, while I'm kind of getting breakfast this morning, I'm going to ask the innkeeper if he knows of Obadiah or anything about him, because uh, he, he might have heard of the strange gentleman that likes strange foods. So he's in the food business. Just kind of <laughs> trying to bullshit with him over breakfast. Well, partner, I'm not in that kind of business, but I do at least have a small recollection of the man. Uh, definitely understand where you're coming from with the uh, predilection for food, but I don't know that I walk in his same circles. What is your real question about his food quandary? Do you know where I can find him to get some of the strange food that he has to offer? Well, yeah, sure. You you just take yourself a, a nice little trip to the capital and you uh, hunt him down. And uh, you know, I mean, not that you know him from anybody, but you can stop at his restaurant. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy my breakfast. You don't want to <laughs> <laughs> shake your roll off. Shake the Go back upstairs and get it. Be like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> I just um, used the alms box to pay. I feel a little guilty. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> uh, Annie, Drake, how are you guys? Um, after the night was over, I kind of started feeling like some memories kind of start like littering in from like when I used to live over at that orphanage as a tinkerer over there, and I feel some of my magical prowess starting to return to my fingertips. And... 
I remember I had purchased last night a gem from a less than reputable source, maybe. But I want to start tinkering with it, and I want to infuse some of my magic into this gem and create myself a homunculus servant. And he's just going to be like a nice little, kind of like a, like a golden snitch or like the bird or the crow or whatever from, what was it? It's the... It's not like Hercules, wherever it's an old Greek. It's like from the seventies or sixties. Oh, it's a uh, Greek like movie. Of the gods, or whatever, the the owl. Yes, for, the the mechanical for, owl, something kind of like that. But some, yes, something like that, kind of smaller. It'll kind of flitter around me and just kind of it'll aid me in combat and just kind of roll around as an, a little companion for us. Okay. Uh, and I would also like to take some of my time while I'm sitting there over at the on one of the bar stools to try to. I'm just going to be focusing really deeply into my crossbow to try to really feel myself attuned to it. Okay, so you're spending the time to invest the magical items. Uh, you don't run into any difficulties with that. It, everything progresses as normal for the change that you've underwent. Breakfast is available. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll go grab myself a plate of bacon, eggs, whatever they have to offer. The the filth sloths off uh, of you as you continue like drenching yourself with this item. Uh, your boots squick a little bit as you uh, you walk around. Yeah, I didn't dry off at all. I just came in soaking wet. <laughs> but overall, you, while not a perfume beauty, you are passable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll in breakfast and breakfast now. I'm gonna roll in and grab a seat with a. Uh, Tink. Tink, and I'm just going to be eating hay that I got from outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can't let it go to waste. It's perfectly good hay. If it's good enough for a little guck, it's good, good enough for him. If it was good enough for my bed, it's good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a motto. <laughs> Not that salad is like hay and feathers. Oh, look the string. <laughs> this is what the bird looks like. For everybody else, too. Yeah, he's our little guy. Look around like, with us. I love it. <laughs> That's adorable. I will die for it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so you take some of the hay that's in there. There are seven grains it could actually be. I want you to roll a, a D8 for me. Seven. You're fine. As I knew it. Yes. <laughs> like I'm gonna though. be startled by Tink's weird flying thing that came out of nowhere and just kind of smack it out of the air like, oh shit! <laughs> Bug. <laughs> <laughs> I guess roll. Uh, since you're not trying to actively kill it, roll a reflex save. Try and uh, or sorry, roll a uh, dex save. Dex save. Try That's and gonna smack be it out of the air. Fourteen. Fourteen. Rolled pretty good on my my homunculus servant's help. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, kill roll. it in one shot? <laughs> <laughs> my unarmed strike. Uh, it nimbly dodges out of the way, but it definitely uh, is keeping a little closer eye on you. Criminal offensive side guy. <laughs> Bombastic side guy. Bombastic side guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello there, guys. How are you going to pass your day today? You have any big business? Or are you, uh, you, you rolling on out of town now that you uh, have like some business? Like the innkeeper? Yeah. Why is he talking to us? Why not? <laughs> I'm just going to grunt. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I want to right. ignore all his questions and like just buy toast from him without really talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not people, people. Stuff in space. Yeah, we'll yeah, our wages, yeah. we don't want nothing to do with them. Oh, he just, he, he's like, oh, well, all right. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, uh, he came up. over, asked a question, and we all were just like. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Drops coffee and toast next to you, and then moves on to the busy himself cleaning tables. And the, I just, uh, like, answer his question. I'm like, toast. <laughs> what does your day look like? Toast. Toast. Well, all right. <laughs> and then he just wanders away. Poor guy. Okay. I should have said good. something to him. My mouth was full. 
So that was Sam. usually how it goes. Like <laughs> Sam, there was a lot of hay in my head. <laughs> <laughs> he you just, walked you up right and just like, like, like hey. this <laughs> it's, It takes a while to chew down. It's very dry. <laughs> you know you have endless water. <laughs> <laughs> you can just simply drink water whenever you like. Well, uh, general mood of the crew has uh, kind of been noted by the rest of the saloon. Uh, very, very few people spend more than a passing moment looking your way. Most people now actively avoid uh, interacting with you. Nice. Like, yeah, that was my now. goal. <laughs> Brutal. All right, should we head over to uh, Drinking Smythe's place and get the next job? Yeah, I do need to. I had known it last time I wanted to buy, like, darts. So I do need to stop by, like, a store at some point that's not sleazy. Well, I'm just gonna <laughs> follow... But that can be after. I'm going to follow Willow through the town, just shaking my alms box at every person we pass by. All right, while they're doing that, I'm going to go outside. I'm see if the word has been spreading about your... Oh, <laughs> uh, a few people uh, stop and ask about your, your mission, um... You can deliver a generally good uh, speech here and there, but uh, people are, are starting to be a little uh, more hesitant to just freely donate to your oh, church. Oh, God. You do, however, get uh, 12 gold and 4 silver. Through the day as you pass through and just uh, jangle your purse at the, the whole town. While well, they're uh, going to the store, I'm gonna head outside with Lil Guck and put just kind of my helmet in front of him. I'm gonna put my helmet in front of him and he's gonna do a dancing routine and see if we can get some money out of random people. Oh my god. Yeehaw. Okay. <laughs> Yeehaw. All right, so go ahead and roll a form Yeehaw. check. Well, you and Guck are now going to do a synchronized performance. Yeah. Rolled surprisingly well for a horse. 20. Well, so I guess between the two of you, uh, you set off a nice little, like, uh, this is like clapping jig, you have, you have the horse just dance around, uh, you guys get, two gold and seven silver. Woo, we're raking it in. Not a very good performance, you guys should start shaking it all the box. <laughs> <laughs> But you guys make your way through the town. You eventually make your way to the man, the manor for the mayor. Um, you were going to you darts first, right? I said, that can be it after. Before, after. <laughs> if you like to do it before, not a big problem. Uh, you find your way to the uh, blacksmith shop. They have a name for him. Look. Okay. Uh, proprietor stuff up. Hi. Going on? How can I help you? I would like some darts, please. <laughs> uh, he, he... It's like, why the hell are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he shakes out a quiver uh, uh, of darts, uh, sits in front of you. Uh, that'll be seven silver. Okay. How many's in there? One. Okay. And how many? Sounds good. Ten. Ten. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Is there any uh, other business I can help you with? Nothing. Oh, she just says toast and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> toast. Well, I appreciate your patronage. Thank you very much. And if you ever have any uh, particular goods, uh, feel free to stop by again. Thanks. All right. Dragon Smith. Dragon Smith. Let's do it. Uh, you're uh, met at the front door uh, by a reasonably unwell-looking Milton. Oh, no, <laughs> Milton. Milton, you Mil don't look so well. What's happened? Uh, just a just a bit of flux, I, I think. Uh, you were, yeah, you were invited. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me go and let... By Dragon... unwell, do we mean, like, he looks sick, or is he, he looks... looking, like, beat up? Roll a medicine. I'm the right guy to do that. <laughs> Six. You think it could be anything from he's slightly ill to he is dying? He's got super <laughs> cancer, I think. Has Doc had any contact with him ever since he made way to the stall? Does this man have sepsis? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. 
Uh, you don't, uh, with six, you deny, you're not really sure. You're not sure what his symptoms could indicate. You're not really a medicine guy. You're not a big details guy. So it's like, yeah, he's... Looks good enough He's like, don't, don't touch me. But that's as deep as it goes. Guck is just leaving a trail of sick people behind him with his, like, general... <laughs> Causing his own little plague. It's another the power I have, I think. <laughs> the mother that surrounds him. Uh, I'll let, I'll let Dragon know you're here. Uh, he shambles slowly to the, the back. Uh, gives a quick uh, knock. Um, unlatches the door and then steps aside. Shuffles away slowly. Uh, Draken stands up uh, as you approach. Ah, hey, welcome back. I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, I have a couple things that business-wise could be taken care of. Uh, what things would you guys be comfortable with? I have one pressing piece of business. I have a couple other things that we could discuss depending on your answers. No old ladies, no bear traps. Everything else I'm just about pretty good. Hello, good ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much bear traps. No bear traps. Right. Agreed. <laughs> we, could, we could definitely do with that. Uh, so, like, damn. One, <laughs> bear traps for everyone. <laughs> so there's one pressing piece of business for you. I've been hearing quite a few reports of people being sickened. Don't <laughs> really. He knows he loves the the look. Uh, do you already? I'm have just news? in my taking hay out of my pockets and eating it in front. Of him. <laughs> <laughs> just absentmindedly staring off into nothing. <laughs> do you already? Sometimes it looks like he may be having a thought. <laughs> just don't give in. To, just don't give into it. It's not happening. The rest of the group's turning and looking back, and it's just... what. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so the, I guess you don't already have news. So uh, I don't really know what the cause is, but uh, we believe something's going on with the town and water supply. Yeah, I saw Milt didn't look... I mean, he looked kind of sickly when, when he came up to the door to come greet us. The, I mean, what's he been up to lately? Yeah, Has he, he been anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he hasn't, actually. Um, it seems... Kind of random on who's getting sick, so we don't know if it is just a nature that they it's targeted. Have poor, poor constitutions, or they just happen to have gotten the water from a specific place. Um, Milton looks like the kind of guy who'd make a whole lot of enemies. It's it's absolutely targeted. I'm just gonna give a water supply sucks, and then take out my thing and just do a stream of one gallon. And then... <laughs> <laughs> that the water just splashes against your face, like all, up to the like, point that you're fully like. Mouth open, like water just down down just gonna... can. It's just like flash dancing across your face. <laughs> it's one gallon in. all over, and I give one gulp, and then I look back, and I'm just drenched. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of lean back, like look at that glorious <laughs> hair getting sprayed <laughs> behind you. Somebody pull a lever over this man. Just this is that that is uncanny. Kind of worrying, but okay. Um, so yeah, it appears the water has not been bothering you guys. Um, we have a couple wells in town. It could be any of them. Milton's... Surprisingly, he's kind of a private guy, so I'm not really sure where where he would have come across it, but you can definitely ask him for more details. Is there a seagull downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> we should definitely talk to Milton, but we should also talk to Guyba. See what's up. Maybe the Murpho knows something about the water. I'm gonna like suddenly have have a look of like I got an idea, and now I'm gonna look over at him and be like, "Money? <laughs> <laughs> yes." <laughs> As is the nature of most employment. This and then I'm just gonna go, "Wait, game. warriors!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, well, I suppose if you can take care of this quickly. Uh, we could talk about uh, 75 gold to start. A person? <laughs> Roll a diplomacy check. Oh, uh, that'd be a six. I don't sense there's a significant element of danger to this, so I feel that's a bit generous. But we provide some pretty decent services. 
Uh, Alright, in character. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you you have one good business uh, relationship with me to, to hedge back on. Uh, That's a hundred percent success. <laughs> uh, shit. Roll, uh, yeah. roll a deception check, I guess. Let's 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 get you smoozing. Five. Wow, you are you really are just fucking steal up that <laughs> dice today. Somebody else step in. <laughs> I do agree that that's 100%, but I'm going to need a little bit more. I'll, I'll tell you what. If you could prove that it was more than just a simple task, we can discuss more. Okay, that's good enough for me. It might be more I'm than 75. There's nowhere, to go or, <laughs> there's nowhere to go but up from here, boys. So 75 gold for the task, you're saying? I think that's fair. It's going to be a quick, easy one. We want to ease, and if it's not, could we'll we get uh, more. we just agree on maybe like eighty, so it's easier to split up. That's reasonable. Thanks. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I don't like doing math. <laughs> um, you want to mark on our maps where these three wells are? Uh sure. Uh, he pulls up the uh, map that you somehow collected of the town, uh, and. <laughs> Points out the three three wells that would likely be sources of <clears throat> the water that could be contaminated. Okay. I mean, I think that if anybody knows filth and if anybody knows grime, it's got to be Guck. So I feel like he can handle one of the wells on his own. Well, we can swim. What if he falls in? I was. That's a good point, Kenneth. Send him. Send him. <laughs> send him a you know, I come. We'll go and get him out of the bind. I come from an island nation. I would think I'd know how to swim at some point, but you think? It's a good question. I think we can trust. Him. I think he, he he's grown enough on this adventure of ours so far. I think he can handle a task on his own. I trust him enough. Duck, stay out. <laughs> 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 Absolutely nothing terrible could come of this. All right, I'm just I'm just gonna go leave to me and then rip off a piece of the map that has the well on it and just head out to where I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have enough another part of a map to actually know. Just where have you're like the corner of a piece. And I'm just like, a section that has the piece that you're looking at. Like. <laughs> All right, uh, <coughs> I don't care. That's one of your maps. You do what you need to do with it. Uh, at this point. I don't think there's any more information I need or can give to you. If you need help, feel free to stop back by, but I trust you to your task. Summon Milton for us, and he'll walk us out. And I'd like to question him on our way. Uh, he reaches up and uh, hits a, a hammer against a, a, a bell. A slow peel uh, generates out. Uh, you hear... Slow, measured steps coming from the other room. Ah, ah, yeah. All right, Milton. Are <laughs> you talking to him like that? Because he's sit. being shady. <laughs> never trusted him. He looks like a man who can make a lot of enemies. Never trust I like him. <laughs> never trust a gnome. Ayo, <laughs> ayo. Sorry, dude. You never trust a gnome. I can't really blame him. You just, you just can't. I'm, I'm a like, shady guy. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So how long have you been feeling unwell? Oh, it's uh, it's been getting worse the last couple of days. When did you first started noticing getting sick? Shortly after you guys left out on your on your uh, on your excursion with the caravan. Ah. Now I'm just gonna get like a really stern look on my face, just. <laughs> Who in this town would want you dead? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why Why would they want me dead? No, are you it's dead? obviously targeted. You look like you can make a lot of enemies. Let me know what you know now. He just like, hunkers down and like, ah! <laughs> it's, it's a plot of my life! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, all right, well now he's going to be super, super paranoid about what's happening to him. So that's awesome. That's good. He needs to be nervous. Well, I don't need to question him anymore. I'm good. <laughs> uh, he starts looking feverish. So <laughs> like he's sweat breaking on his brow. He's just like cowering now. Can I see the map? 
handed over to it's the missing other a very two. a very large section of <laughs> which well that's marked of these two do you live close to spider kind of looks back down at it uh i mean i guess this one okay i think that's the well we should check out first thank you milton now does this town have any sort of like modernized ish plumbing system where they can actually have running water be ran into their own faucets from a, a, a dug well or do they gather their own water so there is a functional but slightly basic uh, plumbing system okay so the water does circulate but the major wells where the water is pulled from uh, are in those three areas okay okay all right, was I able to locate this random well for my map? <laughs> Roll a percentile. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> percentile. The 2d10. 2d10. I'm going to go d10. Uh-huh. 80? Or 80. is it first dice and then second? No, that's fine. Okay, uh, if maybe. that's what you want to go about it, that's maybe. that's fine. So, uh, you do you do actually manage to navigate nice. using only a portion of map? I knew we could trust him. God, I'm good. <laughs> As I walk up to this well, the people I see in like the surrounding houses and stuff, kind of going about their day, do they look ill by chance? Roll perception. perception. Should you be doing this? I'm very good at this. <laughs> He's proven himself thus far. Thirteen. I love it. <laughs> Doug have good eyes. Does he see that with a 13? Yeah. Uh, yes, actually. Surprisingly, uh, you're able to tell that uh, quite a few people here are, are lethargic. They're kind of shuffling more. Okay. A couple of them look unwell. Okay, I'm going to walk up. How Everybody big is see. this well? I guess. Not deep, but like how wide are we talking? They don't look so good. <laughs> uh, it's Everyone about... So we're talking like some old timey rope, rope, well kind rope of. style well, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if, you could, if you wanted to just like plug your nose and leap, you could definitely just jump just right thinking in. Thinking about it. Don't get ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't as put I, thoughts in my head. If I walk over and peer over the side of this thing, how does the water look into me? Uh, you have dark vision, right? Yeah. You're yeah. a half. You're a half work. Yep. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and roll a perception check. Uh. Yeah. It's it's uh, eleven. Eleven. I mean, you're not a water guy. You, it just looks pretty standard to you that it's liquid, at the bottom of a a deep hole. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Are, are we all? Sorry, are we all together right now? No, I'm not. I said on Guck's day out. I thought so. But... I'm gonna roll a. You know, you know, so it did occur to you. I was gonna say roll a dots of shit and see if it occurs to you to just siphon some water. Oh, that's what I was. I was gonna. Take the bucket and roll up some water for myself. Okay. Uh, so you pull some uh, water out of the bottom. First, I'm just going to dump my hand into this thing and kind of pull out. Just get a feel of the temperature or anything weird about this. Mm-hmm. Or is it just water? Temperature is pretty much air is. temperature once the bucket's all the way to the top. Uh, you know what? I'll just give that to you. It does feel a bit brackish. Okay. Um, and oily. I'm gonna bring it to my nose and kind of like smell my hands. Fish oil. <laughs> so you just kind of like snuffle mm. it. Uh, <laughs> just give it a little. <laughs> there is a, a noticeable like you're just shoving your nose right up to it. There is a noticeable odor. Um, it isn't anything that like deeply lingers. So you're not you're you're guessing that's probably why people haven't caught on immediately. Um, but it definitely has got a stank on it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push the bucket back in and head on back to the gang. Okay. <clears throat> so Guck is strutting up towards you guys as self satisfied as you've ever seen him. Um, you guys I'm are like... observing the other well that <laughs> Milton indicated of the two of them was closest to his house. Um and Guck arrives. You guys done anything to the well yet? Have we even left Milt's place yet? Yeah, we just got to the well. Okay. Well, you guys said you were leaving. Okay. Yeah. All right, leader, what are we doing to this well? Oh, my idea was the same thing he did. Just pull up some water. All right, let's do it. 
So you guys uh, throw the bucket in, rotate it, um, give it the old stiff test. Nothing really seems all that uh, tepid about it or uh, contaminated. I'm going to smell the hand that I put in that one and then be like, no, 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 others well smell different. And then like put my hand right into your face. <laughs> 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 My finger stink. <laughs> uh, so yes, his, his his hands stink, but it more like the the musky gook experience. <laughs> it smells oh, like I hate him. that. It's just like a, it's a very human odor. I'd be like everybody's sick over there. Can I? I want to go. <laughs> gook smelled this water. Is it the same? I'm just gonna grab like a handful. And then it, does, it smells normal, you said? It smells normal. All right, I'm just going to take a gulp of it and then swish it around in my mouth. Okay. And then spit it out to the side. All right, roll a constitution. Where was sink. Milton outside of his home? Oh, God. for real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Six. Social life. Six. All right, uh, you can definitely tell that as you swallowed it, it's more going on in the water than I didn't swallow others. it. I swished it around and spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, swished it around... Um, I want to get a taste for it. So and then you, I'm going to backwash with routine the... You <laughs> routine and then backwash with the, 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 fresh, the, the decanter. Yeah. Um, your six is not great for you at this moment. Um, you're going to spend the next half hour you're just slightly ill. Uh, Negative right. one to your checks. I'm going to, as we're doing this, be like, guys, I'm fine, and be like sweating bullets. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if that's definitive that this water's actually filthy, or if he is just him drinking it out of his own hand. <laughs> I did it. just sleep in a stable. I ate hay, and I didn't get sick. I think it's water. <laughs> I want to, I don't really know how to go about it. Like, I just want to analyze the appearance of it more. Um, roll on knowledge nature. Nature? Yep. How deep do these wells go? That's a great question 21. that you could have asked anyone else. Um, the uh, <laughs> uh, the Miracle Cure guy uh, actually sees you. The, the one who's been selling you guys potions all along. She, she out doing out there. No, really. What was your nature roll? 21. Oh, boy. Um, so Nice. I like him. <laughs> Uh, nice. you kind of just could do a battery of tests for, like, general water purity. Just You just know how in the wild to tell if a water source isn't safe. Um, you determine, you're able to determine pretty quickly that this water is starting to become contaminated, but it's not, given how swiftly the symptoms are progressing, not significant enough to be causing illness. Hmm. How... Like, industrial is this town? Do, is there, like, pollutants coming out? Of, like, is this place just, like, saloons and stuff? Or? Cost of the Industrial Revolution, no guns. So there is there is some traditional uh, light industry pollution. Most of what <laughs> they do here, though, is fish processing. It's not impossible, actually, that it could be that. Uh, if you want to play that uh, theory, we can definitely move forward with that uh, as part of the scene. Mm-hmm. Um, because if this place is like a heavy exporter of some like fishing goods or whatever and has like some sort of industrial runoff into their immediate water sources, it could be contaminating their wells. Roll an investigation. And we'll spend some time doing that. Um, what y'all doing there? Uh, he says as, as uh, Tink's kind of like Ooh, okay. inve so, throwing some investigation down. So if I have a savings throw on investigation, if do I add my... Uh, my proficiency bonus onto a roll for it. Uh, you have a saving throw, or do you just have it marked as a skill? I guess for yeah, okay. So for constitution, intelligence, investigation, perception. Okay, so investigation is a class skill. You would add your proficiency. Okay, you so add I your get, proficiency and your intelligence. And then investigation falls under what? Is it under intelligence? Intelligence. Okay, so I would get a twelve. Okay. Um, you start kind of checking the the great system. You start checking the uh, uh, storm drain system. You don't really see any like obvious runoff that would be uh, contaminated, um, like industrial waste in the in this area. 
Okay. Okay. So, but they don't have any, like, billowing smoke or anything? Like, are they, like, coal-operated in any of these buildings? Or no? I was uh, wondering, like, because pretty... there could also be rainwater, like, as... <laughs> yep. Uh, in this section of town, you don't have to... <laughs> most of the uh, processing is isolated closer to the shoreline because the... Uh, just the convenience of being able to pull it right off a boat right into the processing facility. Uh, you do see some some hazy, uh, thick smoke coming from that direction, um, but it blows in a more uh, seaward direction, so most of it's not coming back to the top. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I don't know how I'm going to investigate any of this further. It just made our boy sick, but it doesn't stink as bad as What are you water. talking about? And I'm like still just sweating bullets. <laughs> I boom. I guess we just go check out the third well. As this gentleman is talking. As you're bickering amongst yourself, He's the, uh, the Miracle Cure guy again is like, hey, what y'all doing there, huh? We're checking out the water. Uh, people have seem to be getting sick. Oh, hell. Uh, I mean, those are a bit deep. You want to you go down and get a real proper look? I got, I got a tool he for you. He's just pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah okay. He literally runs over and just grabs you by the ankle and like, lifts. Shoves you down. There you go! Bye! <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking to do a town of service, I think we'd uh, see fit to get us both a bit of benefit for that. Me, you, know, you can uh, tap the benefit of my materials. You, well, you get to be a little bit of a, a savior here. So, uh, I got a couple of devices here. I don't know if any of you uh, are stronger swimmers than others, but uh, I got the apparatus that'll help you uh, breathe a little better while you're going down. If you want to sink in and take a, little, take a deeper look, I can make it happen. Oh, I'm down. I'm very interested in this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's our cut? If we're scratching your back and you're scratching us. <laughs> Have you tested these machines at all, ever, or are we your guinea pigs? Oh, for sure, no, but I've definitely improved upon the basic materials they're using for uh, for fishing and diving. Uh, I just want to get my name out there to make sure that people know that my apparatus are the best. Well, if we're going to be if we're going to be touting your apparatus and whatever miracle cures that you've got up over on your cart, have you tested out those your potions either? Because if we're going to be putting our good name on the line. Well, I'll make sure that we're not going to be making people even more sick if they're buying your goods. You said the merfolk were using this decanter to get on the land, basically, kind of thing. Yes. Did you say that you could somehow change it to air for some reason? I did not. Okay. I, you I would ask like I I that, that you could change it to, so, since it's something that was created by the merfolk magic, they could do salt or regular water, oh, yeah. but it, it does not create air or air pockets. Hmm. Um... To answer your question, I suppose I could see fit to give you a discount, or I can let you have the apparatus. Hmm. Well, I'd rather just have it. Mm. Well, we'll, Why is he giving this to us? Well, we'll take that. in the town of service, he said. We're going to be putting our good name. I don't trust any businessman who gives away stuff for free. Well, we're putting, oh, no. we're putting our name on the line touting his goods. So if they end up coming more sick after buying his stuff, we need to make it worth our while to well, at least not, cover our backs. We're not necessarily endorsing it yet. Right now we're just using it to investigate. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll pick you up on that all. I don't see a problem. Because my, my goal is I want you to be barkers for it. Town sees you out here doing good. They see you out here uh, prominent and, and reasonable. Well, then they'll have no hope but to, to decide to listen to the, the offer. Yeah, I'll take, you, I'll take you up on that. Did you see Get ourselves a nice little scoop of set. Well, I think it might be a good idea. She does know the merfolk. They might know yeah. something. No. How many, how many of these sets do you have, this, this apparatus? Well, I have dozens, but for you folk, I can get you four. Get us four? All right. Nice. I'm going to take one of those things and start strapping up. This is what you guys are looking at. I um, looks a little very murky. dim. Yeah. <laughs> drinking that. Looks yeah. a little murky. Turn your brightness up, my guy. <laughs> oh, it's it, it's less water and more sludge. Oh God, interesting. Like nightmare before Christmas. Uh, is that they have pouring out of the phone? That's slurm. That is <laughs> so that slurm. Is that, is that super slurm? Super, super slurm. concentrated slurm. Yeah, like slurm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm gonna get all uh, 
Gear deck up. down this gear and then just grab onto this rope and go down. Yeah, have they really just replaced all their water with Rondo? Uh, we might have just <laughs> figured it out. We can crack the case. Let's go with Prince Curry. <laughs> all right, but yeah, I guess we're all getting strapped up and getting ready to go on a dock. He's going to go talk to whatever her name was. Gaiba, the fish guy. Gaiba, talk to your girl, Gaiba. We still need to check out the third well, too. I'd be down, but I also feel like, we, yeah, we should see the other well first and it, like maybe check out the one the first one got checked was obviously like more progress with like, its contamination than the others so i feel like so it looks going, worse than are, that i'm kind of concerned if we are going to descend should it be the one that's in worse condition to see what's going on i'm already in this thing like, okay. well you're, you're our leader things. of the way <laughs> well, i'll follow you i would say let's go look at the other well first the most feeble of us should probably dive in the clearest of waters and the most constitutionally adept of us you're probably diving into the stankiest of Let's, the... Let's, uh, before you guys leave, maybe leave one person behind so that they can watch to make sure I come back <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so how is the separation going? Are the three of you going to do that, or is I would like two to just you... drag Guck along with us Question. and wrangle him up. These apparatus, do you think you can make one that could be modified to fit a horse? That's true. Lil Guck's just been chilling this whole time. Why? <laughs> he goes where we go. Can the well? He just starts the, I, well, if you had a literal god, would you outfit them? Like, because that's what we got. <laughs> use to retrofit that rebreather technology. And what skill check would you use to shove little guck down a well like a sausage case? It's not necessarily a well. It's little just any body of water. Okay. <laughs> say it's a body of water. Say we want to go for a swim somewhere. We we discover like an underwater cavern somewhere or something. We we can bring our horse with us. I would be willing to make one, but it's not something I'd be able to make in an afternoon. That is <laughs> a okay very odd that. request. I'm okay with that. You're gonna have to be because it's not something someone has asked me to do before. A little gut goes where we go. We get him iron hooves. He can walk across the sea floor. Mm -hmm. See, this is forward thinking. Mm -hmm. Might solve that on land, but he will be a sea. He will be a master <laughs> of earth, water, and air. Yeah, if we could get you to make some wings for him. <laughs> 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 and he evolves into a Pegasus. Around him. Yes. That's, All that, of our that, vehicles will surround. Instead of having an airship, we have little Gok. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, um... If I get a wild companion, uh -huh. am I able to speak with them? By de Wait, I have speak with animals, but it's like a spell. Probably like, a am I able to talk to my companion without casting it? Uh, so the way the command works is you have like a much like tighter like heart bond with them. You can yeah. communicate with them better, but it's not in the nature like they you know you could philosophically have a conversation with them. It's more they know better how to react to your requests. Okay. That and I, I think got. also some familiars and like companions also have different understandings of different languages because some of them will know your spoke like spoken languages even if they can't speak it themselves they understand it when spoken. So like so really all I guess it would comments. probably also under or depend on what you summon as well. No, absolutely. That's that's gonna be like kind of conditional because hey, there are smarter animals. Two thirds. Like a your average dog could probably yeah. understand quite a bit of. Uh, uh, communication without additional prompting, um, but you won't be able to like speak with them, and then they can speak back. Okay, that's fine. Um, I had an idea to like mm -hmm. create a thing to go in the water for us. Dolphin. Like if we want, if we don't want to go in the like really contaminated part, send we can down. send something like down, a... and then I'll cast it with animals and, and talk to. I like it. But I, like I said, I would like to check out the other one first to see. What... I like it. Let's do it. Okay. You not leaving anybody behind with me? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll hang gonna... out with little. I'll hang out waiting for Guck, I well, guess. I mean, I've got little Guck there. But... What, what is your, what sure is your goal right now? Well, well, we also, I'm going to investigate. We, so also, down <laughs> that well. we also have my little familiar <laughs> that I've crafted as well. And it's yeah. immune to poison damage and has dark vision. So I can oh. bring it down with me into little corridors to do some is scouting it, too. Is, is it, it waterproof? waterproof? Well, I mean, it's just a magical device that has been created using a gem. So I don't understand why it wouldn't be. I was just thinking, in my head, it's like metal. Yeah, you said mechanical. 
Mm-hmm. How fast is it Russ? What's the anti-Russ magic on it? Oh, shit. Yeah, magic. <laughs> He's got some WD-80 on that bad boy. Oh. Okay, uh, so right, unless you guys actually convince Guck to, to abandon this specific well, um, you just get, yeah. you kind of do the, the hold your nose and jump on in. Um, the uh, rebreather works uh, actually really well. Uh, you don't have any difficulty being able to uh, breathe and uh, uh, continue functioning as you snorkel down. Um, he did give you a weighted uh, diving belt, so you're just kind of like... wearing full, like, plate metal, chain metal. So you're just <laughs> staked to the bottom. You're Glad just, like, sliding on. down <laughs> the side of the well. You just kind of put your hands up to just kind of direct your fall. Uh, you get about... Let's see what kind of distance we got. Well, he didn't put a hazmat suit on or anything either. <laughs> uh, you get about 35 feet down, um, and it starts kind of widening out. Um, you have dark vision, and it would have included a mask of some sort. So you can kind of see uh, in each direction uh, a kind of a passage of the water. Uh, it, it almost seems as if the city's using the just the native water pressure to move things along is also mm-hmm. what's circulating and then pushing the water up the wells. Um, but you don't really see anything obvious uh, for your full distance you can see with dark vision, uh, which is what, 60 or 30? 60, I think. Yeah, so you can kind of look in each direction, 60 feet. Um, there's no obvious obstruction or contamination or there's not like a barrel or you know sludge or anything that you know that in, in either direction but there's different paths going down all over there are two in each uh in each direction you look uh nothing obvious is a bit is visible to you now does he know which direction these are going and like if they're leading to the other wells or anything roll a survival check that was good uh Nineteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're kind of out of your element, but you're able to uh, like circumnavigate your way. Uh, you know that the the path to the left is heading mostly the north uh, towards the other well. I'm gonna swim over in the direction that the first well I found was in. You should tell me something. I'm fucking chilling. Up I know. Over. You're good. <laughs> I'm just gonna go about let's let's just say like forty feet of swimming and just see if anything changes for a minute. This is what you think just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, go like okay. forty more feet and see what so happens. So roll <laughs> roll that <laughs> check for me. Uh that's gonna be twenty two. Okay. Uh so you just Roll your body into it and churn through the the uh, I'm like walking system. on the bottom. <laughs> you just kind of like just pushing. Um, so you travel. You said forty feet. Yeah. Uh, you see get to, changes. Yeah, you get to about uh, thirty feet in, and you see the the uh, direction of the sewer system changes. Uh, like a hard right or left, or whatever. It's like a hard turn. Uh, probably about sixty degrees. Oh, and I see anything going down that direction. Like you, well, as far as your eyes can go, you don't see anything obstructing you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the original well and go back up to talk to. All right, you uh, kick your feet up off the bottom and grab the side of the well, and you just kind of like spider walk your way up. I like it. <laughs> I come out like. Oh, <laughs> 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 like, I was more thinking like the you know full uh, like. I got you. <laughs> I'm going to come up and take off the suit and, well, just the mask of it, I guess, and uh, talk to my, my guy, Eamon. I forgot what your name was. Eamon. Oh, yeah. Eamon, Eamon Targaryen. Um, but while that's going on, you guys, uh, you and Tink made your way to the other well. Um, you get there and you pull the same routine. You throw the bucket down, um, lift it up and take a look. Um, not really any sign, sign of contamination at all. Do I look around and see, and like, is there anybody here that looks like sickly, like they did in the other parts of town, or does everyone look kind of? The segment of town, everyone seems to be moving with the general verve and no- a normal function that you would expect out of a group, a group of city people. 
Um, everybody's kind of battering down to the the needs of industry. They're moving to and from. There's shopping going on. So like this People town doesn't have any sort of like caste system, right? Like there's not more like affluent or wealthy parts of town. There is a more affluent portion of town, but in general, it is kind of in flux. Okay. The town itself was never huge before they started uh, modernizing. Um, so it, they're kind of segmenting based on urban sprawl. Uh, the section where Draken has his manor is where you really start seeing the affluencia happening. Where okay. you start getting your bigger houses and the, the richer, more appointed manors. Um, they're still few and far, but... <laughs> uh, but it, it is, that is that? something that you are uh, starting to see that social striation. I think it was um, you can tell just from just the overall arrangement of the city that most of these people would have been functionally the same from a financial standpoint. There wasn't like yeah, I want to make sure deeply... it wasn't like the poor getting sick and the rich are all good. And it's like all right, cool. Um, that's so actually a good know. point. Where is where? You know, like we, we know the. Was it the middle well that was kind of like Tuck's developing, well. but not quite? Yeah. That was the one by well, Milton. Where Milton lives. Is that like more of a middle classy kind of area? That's more of a middle classy area. Um, I guess out of character. No. Um, I need everybody who's in the room. Go ahead and roll a an insight check. Sure. So just so you guys know, whenever the train passes by, no better inventory or refresh. The Ten. trains will all through town. Ah. Okay, funny. I love it. Ten. Be kind of funny. Ten. That also means if you're 19. saving up for an item, maybe that item got traded away. <laughs> you might be That'd be that. kind of funny. <laughs> so uh you realize pretty much immediately. When we asked Milton to look at the map, we only had two options of wells that he could have lived nearest to, because one portion of the map had already been ripped off and taken away by Guck. That's crazy. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> so he answered your question as best he could, given the options available to him. That's why he said, uh, this one, I guess. Okay. How did the people look at, it, Guck. at the first well I went to, the torn well? Um, how did the people look from a poor, rich kind of standpoint? Uh, mixed, uh, definitely much more, um, like business class people, um, stewards, bookkeepers, um, shopkeepers, things like that. Take a look at the others. I okay. remember, it just, then, <laughs> there was just a generate <laughs> image, I didn't know. This newest, I this oh, this newest, wearing top hats. <laughs> the newest one, is it a nicer area? The, the one that you just went to? Yeah, that's like not showing any contamination yet. Yep, it's in one of the newer sections of the city. That hasn't had all this industrial sprawl really hit it yet. You're really on Correct. this industrial. Image. How close is too, the man. first well I went to to like I'm the water, I guess, the lake, whatever. Ocean. The first well you went to is actually uh, closer inland. Um, it's starting to move uh, more to the north of the city. Uh, where there's uh, some uh, roll of history. It's one expertise I have. Is it really? No. <laughs> 17. 17. Um, so it's actually heading more towards the older portion of the city, uh, more to the north, where there was some like extensive mining operations. They used to have uh, more... The dwarves of... got too greedy and dug too deep, and there's a ball <laughs> rock down there. <laughs> There's definitely a battle rock down there, and a uh, Gandalf the White. <laughs> uh, but you know that it was uh, one of the older, more extensively um, structured parts of the city, um, but it is still uh, an older section. So, also to Drake's point, the infrastructure there is older, uh, so it's been around longer. I'm going to, after relaying everything that I saw down there to Amand, I'm going to suggest we head over to back to the first well to take a dive. Um, yeah, it's not a bad idea, Guck. We should probably do that, but we might want to regroup with uh, Tink and Willow. Huh? Yeah, let's do it. There might be a threat down there. But I see nothing. 
You saw nothing, but there could have been something in the water. I was in water. <laughs> Guck, you, I are, water. you are water. Duck yeah. is the apex predator. Yeah. Of course, it would there itself. be any sort of like I mean, a city architect or anything that would have any idea of how like the, the sewage slash plumbing is routed? Like if like somebody would know whether they're gathering their water from different sources or if it's all gathered from the same source throughout the whole city. Mm, best resource you might have would be milk. Milton, that guy's fucked. Um. <laughs> uh, there are other people that share his uh, position, so I guess yeah, you're <laughs> able to find the village a sayer, a mm-hmm. uh, person whose job is to parcel out and uh, plan the um, the growth of the city. Okay. Yeah, so I, I just want to ask them, like, the water. I know that the city has been pretty rapidly expanding, and a lot of it is fairly new. And since it's been Expanding so quickly, so like those older parts of town, or do they source their water from different locations, different water sources, like the newer parts of town, or do they all come from like the same ravine, river, stream? So the aquifer they use, uh, we've had a couple spurts of drought in the town, um, so that well specifically has had to been dug much deeper. Um, but a lot of the water in the town is sourced from there. Okay. Uh, it's one of the more major uh, uh, ways to get water into the city. And uh, and in general, um, it's probably the section that has the most abundant um, like underground area. Okay. For the, the water aquifer. Okay. Um, do you, since I'm assuming that you guys had to dig like deeper underground, is there a bit more of like an actual layout, like a cavern system down there or like any like place where workers might stay under, like they stay down there while doing any of their work to try to expand on the system? Mm-hmm. Not in the historical records that I've seen. I don't think that they saw a reason to document that. So it probably is something that they just expanded as they needed to, and then mm-hmm. it hasn't been changed. At least to my knowledge, I've been here for uh, 10 years now. It hasn't changed in the last uh, decade, at least. Well, do you know of like, any access points that they use normally to try to go underground? So that way we might be able to try to get away under there, or do we have to go in through a well? Would be fastest to go through the well. I suppose I could try and pull the maps of the mines and see what I can find, but I don't know of any additional path to get down there now. It's okay. something that once they had built the stones in and got it situated, the well itself became self-sustaining. Okay. All right, I don't think I got any more questions. I appreciate your time, boss. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, we're going to roll up on the group and still dripping water all through the town. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky water. Uh, yeah, so at this point, uh, people near the well that you do- dove into just seem to be not having as great a time about the water. Um, a few people cast really specific looks in your direction. He is the contaminator. I, I still have the full setup on as I'm just walking. <laughs> <laughs> what in that terrible smell? And her proceeds to puke all over your shoes. <laughs> I'm just going to take out the uh, uh, decanter and geyser right at my feet. High <laughs> <laughs> uh, pressure. <laughs> you just like you just like hop up a couple inches as you just like. Oh, I'm 225. This thing can't move. <laughs> It has to be 200 or under. <laughs> oh, good lord. Sir, can I you please have some of that clean water? water? I'm just going to turn, point it at her, and give it a little geyser. <laughs> just like, Close her back. Just, just, sprint it. Uh, <laughs> just sprint it like uh, a... It's going <laughs> to... She needs some 16 on a strength check. 13 or higher. Fail? Mm-hmm. Nah, she's getting shot back she a good 20 feet. and <laughs> She's going to take... Uh, 
Four damage of bludgeoning. <laughs> she is hydrated but unconscious. <laughs> Just slammed into the wall. <laughs> I just like the day she walked up, threw on my threw up on my shoes, and I just turned this thing and shot her on. <laughs> I'll just I want to send a message to this town. <laughs> this is my water. Uh, my thing is Bobby my water. He's had the decency of not puke on my And shoes. then with that, I'm just going to into my mouth a good one gallon stream <laughs> just my face. <laughs> okay. You want to are, show off what I can do to people. You're just <laughs> deeply hydrated. Might die Aggressively from so. <laughs> you were standing next to me, just watch this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab a coin from my alms box and flick it at the unconscious lady. I give me fun here. I'm just like close dying. your eyes and put a coin on each one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to relay to the group, uh, not about the lady, um, <laughs> that I dove down there. Nothing, nothing. All wells connected, though, I think. That's what I see. So dive into first well. I say <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to you guys. Let's go to the well. Take care of something real quick. Take, Take care, care of business. Taking care of business. Um, first well. First well, probably the best bet. Stinky well. Yeah. Stinky well. What'd okay. you guys find at this well? Um, you guys were in a group. <laughs> we didn't really do... No, just... Nothing. All the water's coming from the same place, so I'm assuming that if one of these wells is... I mean, the, the water source could be contaminated itself. This is a, If this is a newer well, the contaminant just might not have built up versus the older parts of town, which are super, super gross now. So, I mean, we could try to figure out if there's any sort of, like... There's no historical documents for it, but if we want to try to figure out if there's like a source to try to get to like their main opening into the aquifer where they're sourcing all their water from to see if there's a contaminant, we could try to do that. And yeah. The fastest way would be through one of the wells. Dive down. Yeah. yeah, there's. I don't think there's a need to do that because we already got the mess from that guy that for some reason wanted to help us. But he wants to advertise the shit. Here's my thought. I would still like to talk to Gaiba. Initially, I wanted to talk to Gaiba because I thought maybe there's a chance. I know we like kind of made an agreement with the merfolk, but I was like, okay, maybe like them or other groups of people are mad and like poisoning the well water. But if that were the case, I would think they would like attack the rich people, not like randos. But I still, because violence. she's an old wise lady. She might have info. Yes. So I don't really know what we're looking for, but I, my plan is maybe there. go talk to Gaiba. And then after we talk to her, we can go dive down the stinky well. Yeah. Okay. You can get your sneaky well, box. yes. All right, let's go get Gaiba. You wander up to uh, Gaiba's shop. Uh, you just happen to remember where she uh, led you to overnight. Uh, comes <laughs> in the door. Oh, hello, hello there. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Got a whistle in her voice now. <laughs> Hi, Gaiba. We were wondering... <laughs> we were wondering if you have ever experienced did, did you know people are getting sick from the water right now to preface it to answer your question she just uh, takes a sip from a, a beer stein uh, I've heard something. it's a, a real shame but uh, I'm not really sure anyone in my family has gotten sick I mean, Gaiba hasn't sipped water in years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear pickled. your family's healthy. Uh, are you, are I you, was just curious. Is that a since you... what is it? It's like a seagull. And I'm straight up saying that there's a seagull downstairs. Someone is now. It just earlier, but now it. I did. I, I did. Well, the nose been oh, okay. Um. I thought I was going crazy. I was like, is Jane no. playing music or something? <laughs> no, straight up a seagull. Straight up. Let's just say. It lives in the sea. <laughs> Under the sea. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, although something, something like that has probably happened in the past. Uh, if it's in the whales, trying, trying to get the whistle in there for you. Like, yeah, I know you love it. Uh, are, are you are you are you looking for a, a different way in? 
Uh, if you know of one, I guess. I was just more curious if you knew of it happening before. You're saying there might have been previous incidents. Uh, it, water's always a, a, a curious thing, especially on a seaside village. Uh, but people getting sick from the water, not bad. Not in, the, not in that many, in the many cases. If it's getting bad, then uh, the source is probably tainted. Um, let me, uh, let me ask my son. Hey, Biggin! Biggin? <laughs> ben. Ben? ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. <laughs> yep. I like it. Big hey, hey, y'all, you, 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 y'all, y'all still have the, the records of all the caves that you used to explore in the, in the mines, or, or a way, a way of getting on through there, or people, or has it been closed up real, real tight now? What about my caves? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're looking for some some information on how how to get to the the well the the wellspring. If there's a different way in getting through the, them caves. Who put you up to this? Who wants to know about my caves? Hey, how's oh, big, 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 we don't have to be all crusty about it. It's all good. It's just a cave. How big is it's Big Ben? Good. <laughs> uh, he is enormous for a halfling. He is three and seven inches, three feet and seven inches tall. Absolutely wow. massive. Massive. <laughs> for a halfling. That's all into the room. Who did <laughs> thinking about just geyser enough. <laughs> that might just be my new move. Just the squeak of his feet rings through the hall as he stands there waiting for an answer. Hey, how's it going? It's the Wage Warriors. The Wage Warriors! Yeah, the Wage Warriors. We we were hired to figure out what's going on with the water around here. So we're we're trying to get this all cleaned up so y'all can get back to drinking and working and making your city bigger and better. What's this about water? You notice it stinks, right? I thought that was that guy. Well, yeah. Well, I'm, just, I'm assuming chat. Guy might invite us inside for this chat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of brushing my foot off on like the side of her wall. <laughs> just getting like poor shit off <laughs> as he says that. Well, that's a different kind of stink. Have you have, have you smelled the water in the well? It's pretty rank. Oh, she's just. What? She's it's actually. She's very like, obviously it. like just just sharpening and honing a, a playing knife. Just kind of like staring right at just you. Like, I'm just going back to just staring off down, blank with my finger in my ear. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, just. I just, I have to say, right now, I cannot stop picturing the like two old ladies from SpongeBob in the chocolate up in the egg and two. <laughs> They're so chocolates. <laughs> what were you saying, Sonny? <laughs> So yeah, we, we're we're trying to get this water, this stinky water, cleaned up. So we're trying to figure out the closest or quickest way to get over the water. <laughs> what? I don't touch this stuff. You don't fish fucking it, right? <laughs> I'm over in the corner, like that set. <laughs> that's that's the birds and the bees stuff. Anyways, I have noticed things around town have been a bit more weird. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you have you noticed anybody keeling over in the middle of the road? They're really <laughs> piling up there. Even some of the guys wearing top hats. They're piling up in the top hats. <laughs> not the top hats. Yeah. But so if you, if you can, if you'd be so kind to let us know how to get into these caverns and let us know how we can get to the water source, we'll get it cleaned up as quick as possible. So you want to go running around in my halls, either, sonny? <laughs> as long as you'll let us, if you'll invite us in. Now, what am I going to get out of this? We'll convince the fish to stop fucking in the water, so that way you can get a taste. Oh, my God. <laughs> what if I let like it taste? Well, then we don't have an <laughs> issue. You'll be able to start drinking it again. Would you like malted beverages? Malted beverages? Now you speak in my language. <laughs> <laughs> little lady, I, I like that. <laughs> she knows what's up. If you can get me three malted beverages, <laughs> then I will give you the map. Now I understand time is tough, so I will give you the map now, and you can give me my beverages later. Thank you. I'm impressed at your trusting nature, and I appreciate it. Nature. <laughs> 
You know all the fucking dirty stuff happens there. Nature. The birds fuck out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Leaving so soon. <laughs> Not quick enough. B- Big Ben the halfling hey, gets you over the neck. You don't love to watch you leave, honey. <laughs> Big Ben. Hit him with the geyser. Big Ben, <laughs> I thought it was a man, but now I'm not so sure. Big Ben. I was trying to just let him do this. And he said it was the two old ladies. It started out as a man, but Andy said the two old ladies. And, and now it's, it's, it's irresistible. We've been pulled into the vortex. <laughs> All right, yeah, I guess we, we got it on our map now. It, it, was, her, it, was, it was specifically and, said Gaiba's son, Big Ben, <laughs> and turned into her lover or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can't judge God. Okay. My note doesn't make any sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like it's just a voice thing. All you uh, see, all you see no, in no, notes is just a whole bunch of pictures that have like scribbles through them. All right, <laughs> question mark. All right, retcon to be big and all right, big and the tallest halfling you've ever seen in your life. All right, well, do any of us want to try to procure some goods before we? Go exploring into this yeah, aquifer. Yeah, we all or we potions yeah. and shit. Yeah. And we gave it to crowbar over there. Good to go. All right. Want. Crowbar in hand. <laughs> writing, let me write down though that <laughs> I owe Ben. Are we Three ready? Three malted beverages. <laughs> Just so I don't forget. And oh, get, let's like, be honest. We're not person. giving him shit. <laughs> no way. We're not going. <laughs> I'm not going back to that spot. You might no. <laughs> never go back in that house again. I don't know how you hung out with God. Short for Benita. <laughs> now I know why she was hitting on you. That, that's a weird family. Right there. <laughs> you should avoid them, Willow. <laughs> All right, so are we making our way over to the caverns then? Are yep. we going to fight a kraken? A kraken or kraken? So. Uh, so you guys make your way to the My the is mouth. thirsty. Uh, uh, Boy, all right. Uh, violence is on the horizon. You just <laughs> oh, and I'm, yeah, and I'm in the air. I've been shooting people with a water gun for a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find your way to the uh, to the side path that uh, Megan had uh, pointed out. Uh, you wind up finding that there is, in fact, a uh, blockade across the wall. Is it just what like kind of wooden blockade? hosts or like? T- like, yeah, uh, it's a, a essentially like a wooden barrier that's been nailed into the uh, uh, wooden support. Just like some wood planks, or yeah, probably blast that over. I got a, I got a hammer. Can I assume my hammer can has like the I normal modern day bro. hammers that I can? You have a geyser. You would not be that patient. All right, you're right. I'm slashing right you, into this thing with my sword. <laughs> okay, uh, so you spend some time to smash open. Um, the map itself is fantastic. Uh, once you're actually in the cave system, uh, a couple cutbacks and a uh, pretty steep decline later, uh, you make your way to some uh, broken uh, natural cave system. Um, as you slide in, uh, the stench becomes overwhelming. Everybody instinctively snaps their eyes to you. I'm going to just take a piece of my loincloth and rip it off and shove two pieces into my nose. I feel like it would smell like it's worse. Off. Yeah. <laughs> but he's just used to his I mean, own dude. worst thing. <laughs> you know how you just kind of love your own smell? Everybody loves their own brand. brand. That's rough. Um, but everyone hears some ragged suspiration um, at the the far end of the cave system. You hear some uh, thick, uh, guttural breathing as uh, some deep sloshing uh, begins happening and moving towards your direction. Um, and, and before, just before the uh, creature rounds the corner, you hear in your heads, come to take my home too, have you? Is this thing psionic? Oh, I'm, full, I'm sword drawn. I'm ready for this shit. What the heck, bro? As you see a rather large creature. Is it a Marlboro? Uh, walk around the corner. Everybody roll a knowledge nature. Knowledge nature. Whichever one's higher kind of thing. Uh, nature or, uh, I guess survival could be functioning. Yeah, they're about the same for me. 18. 18. 13. You recognize this as an Atiyog. It looks large and ponderous. Pull a picture for us. And, uh, slightly wounded. 
out of the woods. It's like it's about to be a lot more fucking wounded. <laughs> What's I'm ready. I want to kill something. <laughs> An Ochiug. How do you spell that? O T Y. Let's see how ugly it is G-H. first. We only kill ugly things. Here. Oh, that's kind of fucked up looking. Oh fuck yeah, we're killing that. Yeah. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> Look at that thing. It or stinks like a mother. Yeah, we can though. tame this motherfucker. That's another little guy. <laughs> That would be. Oh, awesome. I don't like the eye. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm, I'm storage drawn, pointed at this thing. I mean, it's smart enough to communicate. <laughs> True. Is it saying yeah, anything let's else? Let's try to me? talking to it. Yeah. I just got okay. shielded up like Who this. Who hurt you? Yeah, I, I, I'm assuming if I can hear it <laughs> in my own in my own brain, I would like to try to telepathically communicate back to it. Just. Is, this is your home? How long have you been here? Wait, Wait can, I, can so I? you push your intent against the, the, the wall of telepathy, um, you just feel it like there's like a recoiling and it just pushes back against it. You realize that it only seems to operate in one direction. Hmm. Uh, what was your statement, Willow? Um, did you? I just oh, you're trying to think? To it, you but... didn't try talking out loud? Yeah, I tried to think at it. Okay. I wanted to see if I have some sort of like. I don't know, maybe nature or animal check, like if, or any of us, if we could all try it, like if we know, I'm thinking so of, So, with up. an 18, um, Gark actually realizes that they're intelligent, uh, considering his day-to-day, they may actually even be smarter than he is. <laughs> <laughs> most, most dogs are, so. What I was thinking is, like, if we know that there's, um, you remember Buck and Harry Potter? Mm-hmm, how yes. there's, like, very specific, like, how to, you, to approach these animals. Mm-hmm. Like, what is was there your something? nature check? Mine I just did was 14. Was 14. You realize that these creatures are actually widely used in civilized areas as a crude, uh, generally effective uh, sewage management system. Okay. Uh, These creatures are fiercely territorial and are driven by hunger. Um, They typically are not... Start playing poo. Uh, they typically do not deal with diplomacy. Um, mm-hmm. So this creature is wounded. You realize with 14, though, that you, you might actually be able to make it in roads, but you know that it doesn't fully speak common, so you'd have to use pantomime. You roll a uh, handle animal, uh, so try rich. and like, kind of give it the idea of, like, who hurt you? Oh. That 20. Nice. She does a ballet that's so beautiful, we're crying, and we're like, oh, I'm, 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 uh, <laughs> That's, actually, that's wildly impressive. So you spend a few short minutes trying to build a discourse with the creature. Uh, you start getting better and better at kind of intimating your, your meaning with your words, um, and it's communicating back to you in, in, uh, in kind of a broken, rudimentary common tongue. Uh, Blades and torches, uh, stoles, stabs, fights. Uh, Take my home. Take your. No, take this one. Take oh. Oh. Is he only speaking this to her or to the group? Uh, it's limited telepathy, so it's to any creature so in there. So we just have to establish that smart they can stay here as long as all, all of us are You're just hearing the like the smattering of words, kind of oh, or I or right. something, Droids. something like took its home and made it come here. Yes, I, I would like to, and that's why it's already injured. <laughs> I, I want to try to like, I'm going to tell Will like, try to explain to it that we would like to help. I, I, I want to send my familiar to it to help it. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody, as you kind of like begin getting closer and closer, the stench, uh, Gark, especially since you just like kind of like God, it's so good. You you (laughs) recognize it pretty much immediately. The the whatever contamination is happening to the water is coming here. Um, I need everybody to roll a con save. I'm good. Yeah. I twenty-two or twenty-one. Ten. Next. He died immediately. Mine was bad. So, uh, the bile, like, as this creature kind of begins shuffling closer to you, the bile begins rising in your throats. The mm. un, 
godly stench of it is just overpowering. Um, and, you know, each of you are going to spend the next minute. Um, Where are you? Am really, I really fighting the urge to, to, to hurl as violently as, as possible. Am I good with the 21? You are. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking around like, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I would, yeah, I would like to have Willow like try to explain to it, like, I want to send my familiar over to it to help. As your bird flies towards one of them, it drops out of the air. Why? This, can you it's a gem? Smell? It's a gem that operates at the target. <laughs> the smell is so strong, it's taken a physical form and killed your <laughs> It's like Tweety Bird against like, all, all physical manifestations. <laughs> the actual shit. thing itself is the imbued gem, and the body just forms around, around the gem. So After the gem is not the point. The bird hops back up, shakes its head, and, goes, and continues on its path. I don't agree with this. <laughs> <laughs> a single bet. Um, what would my would the stink drive away my a magical bird? Uh, it wouldn't drive it away, but it would definitely recognize that something with this creature is going on. Okay, because it's also immune to poison, and I'm thinking this is along those lines. It is. It is a poison effect, um, but it kind of just gets a, a sense of like this creature is dangerous. Yes. Yes, because it, it can also understand me and speaks any languages that I speak. As you look into its eyes, you realize that it was trying to signal that this stench is strong and potentially dangerous. That's perfectly fine, and that's why I'm sending you in to go help this thing out. It's <laughs> stealthy. So can you cast spells in between it? Like yes, other so familiars? one of its abilities is, uh, I need to look up what the exact ability is called, is channel magic, so it can cast a spell with a range of touch. As as long as it's within 120 feet of me. Mm. So I can use Cure Wounds through my familiar as long as it's within 120 feet of me. Mm. Okay. So I can heal people up to 120 feet outside of my own radius with Cure Wounds. That's, That's pretty nice, actually. Isn't it? Yeah. So you send it off to Cure Wounds on this creature? Yes. Uh, roll your uh, damage. I don't know if you want to heal it before we know it's going to be friendly. It doesn't matter. I'll do enough well, damage. It obviously to responded to and me communicating. Is a so. I think we should we should do this to gain its trust and then offer to go rehabilitate it and then that solves the water problem and we're helping it as we should. And then it's eight. It's turned around. Eight. Duck. So okay. I heal for eight hit points. Okay. Uh, and grains eight more. You see the wound. Some of the wounds just magically <laughs> knit uh, and heal up on the creature. Um, it yeah you know, gestures down the cave. Stealers, takers that way. All right, I'm just gonna give it a thumbs up and start many. going that way. I would it, like. It to doesn't try to... know how to count. It's just like many. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then it just gestures at you guys. Many. I would like to try to go in the direction it's pointing us while also trying to hug the outside most part of the room <laughs> to stay, try to stay as oh. far from the stink as possible. Well, before we go, could we? Like, is where she, I'm calling it she, I don't know, is where she came from that way, she's saying? Like, yeah. they're, they're at her thing that they stole from her? Okay. Yes. Should yeah. I use my thermitude or whatever? So there's going to be four what that things. Is? I can voice boom three times louder and just shout like this beast down the hallway. Oh. Not yet. Yeah. Maybe when we get there. All right. I'll see what we're working with. I'm like, I'm sleeping on Druidcraft, and like, I feel like this might be the first time where I can see a group of people and then create like an effect Ooh, do across the room from them so that they're like, hmm? Yeah, let's start working our way down that hallway and see what we're working with. We're going to go slow to try to see if we can find anything down there before it sees us. And how dark is it in here? I can also brighten flames with your... It is, uh, it is very dark. It do is essentially dark full dark or... at this point. I just presume I that one of you would have chosen to make some sort of... I think I do. I think I'll oh, 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 all of you actually have dark vision, though, so it's like I think secondary. Well, do all of I, I do. I know you have dark vision. Do you guys I'm, also I'm do pretty right? sure I do. I think I'll double check. Humans, humans do not. I don't think I do with a human. Yeah, so you are essentially entirely blind right now. Unless You're just holding our hands and we're walking you like a child. Yeah, unless we illuminate it for you, you are entirely blind. We're going to try to stay in the dark for now until we figure out what's going on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so we're going to... We're going to proceed with caution, still in the dark, holding 
Eamon's hand leading him down here, but still in the dark with caution going down this hallway to try to figure out what's down there before it sees us. Okay. Uh, so you guys make your way down the darkness for a little bit, and then uh, you start noticing uh, a, a lightning of the cave system ahead of you. Uh, for you guys, it's just a, a, a small like acknowledgement, but for you, it's as if the world has opened up again after living in darkness for the last uh, quite a bit because nobody brought a light source. Uh, I like we it. have them, we're just not using them yet. I have an infinite light to? source, to be honest. Um, but ahead of you, you see a mm. group of uh, people uh, around a cauldron um, chattering amongst themselves as they slowly Witches. begin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, is the thing following us? I assume it's staying back. Not. It's staying back. We can smell. But we can help it get its home back. We're going to after we. No, but it can help us help it. If me, if if it I don't know if we could fight with that what stench is, next to us. What is passive perception used for? Uh, passive perception is something that you just give me as information. Whether there are like traps or ambushes okay. or things like that that yeah, I feel like could be happening, but us, you guys we wouldn't be able to fight. Yeah, my team team cues of it. Why? My phone has passive perception to on a ten plus two times my proficiency. <laughs> wow. So it's got a passive perception of fourteen. And, and I would like to call her pretty quickly, Brad. That is what I've named the creature. Brad. All right, Brad. 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 And it's a girl. Nice. Just like Ben the, the, the man. Exactly. Or Ben the woman as well. <laughs> ben the Nice. Man. It's a very progressive universe. <laughs> I like it. All right, how many of these things or people, whatever we see, are around this cauldron? Everybody, well, perceptions. Yes. Oh my 19. God. 20. Ooh, 19. I got The blind one. guy can see and he's so happy. <laughs> and the one who could see can't see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so highlighted in the flames around the cauldron, um, a couple of torches, uh, you see uh, dilapidated, uh, like, wizened looking old, uh, oh, slightly female creature. Uh, roll a knowledge religion. Just Amen, or... uh, and anyone who, uh, who loves it. Yeah. 20. 20. You said knowledge? Yes. I think I meant uh, knowledge is wisdom, right? Yes. Oh, shit for wisdom. 13. 13. Uh, so, with Eamon, you recognize this is a coven of sea hags. There's a... Strike first, to ask questions later, <laughs> boys. There is a... The woman that you noted first uh, is uh, definitely a sea hag. The other two appear to be just traditional cultists. It's a coven of sea hags. Is there... Do we notice anything on their clothing to indicate what kind of cult they are? Maybe you a, for your perception? I had a 13. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you catch sight of like a glimmering uh, like lapel item, you're only gonna get a good enough look to get finer details. Can I get a color on it? It's red. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, man. <laughs> Is, are they standing by a fire? They are. You're going to need to make your decision fast here. I feel like my character's about to bull rush this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you have nothing to do with this. It's out of your hands at this point. Oh, yeah. But it's just the character. The water, I, I can't control it, man. He saw that red and he's in. You might as well send it, dog. All right. Guck is going to full bull rush this, the sea hag with his sword ready to attack. Okay. So... At this point, I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. All right. We're going to get the stats in there for the... 15. 15. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even get a good glimpse of that. I just assumed it was the Crimson Hand and went for it. I like it. They got to go down, bro. So That is one of my flaws, is the hatred for my enemies. Amen, blind you me. said you also got a 15? Me, yes. 10, right over here. I also got a 10. Oh, shit. Weird. All right, you guys want to do roll-offs, or you just want to yeah, compare yeah, roll-offs? 19. Roll 10. All right, you're taking first. I got first. 10, I got 13. Aim it first, me second. Me third. I think is... <laughs> Interesting that that kind of worked out that way. All right. 
Or do I get first strikes since I rushed it? I mean, so you are going to get the surprise option. Oh, it's just a, yeah. Once that is resolved, unless someone else is also is planning and can immediately specify an action they're taking as you, you kind of like marathon I feel like I might have caught them off down. guard that we all saw and I just bull rush through. Um, may I suggest we take a break sometime, maybe after the battle, for to like recool the room. Let me I think we should do it right before the battle. Yeah, yeah. like once I actually get an initiative you established. Want to take a break? Are we calling it? We've been going for well, to for only an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, because we started at one thirty. I'm I'm fine staying longer because we started late, so we have a whole session. Yeah, it's up to you guys. I'm down for whatever. We could, we could actually call it after the combat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's take a quick intermission, and then we are going to come back and Sweet. do the epic battle. Woo! With members of the unknown cult. Woo! Let's get them. Or we'll find out when their heads are by our feet. You know. By attacking them, you won't know if they're the one. I have no problem with this. Us. Debatable, I still have whole person. No problem we with it. We have captives. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool. If I'm they like got it. a problem with it, they'll stop and say something. And with that, we go to break. And with that, we are on break. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. This has been the Shroud of the Sun through the New School Project. You can follow us on all major socials, and I hope you have a lovely day.